Governor Pritzker could have to pay a lot more in taxes if voters approve his progressive income tax plan at the ballot in 2020. That's right, and he says most people will pay less, but how much less? Turns out, not much. WCIA 3's Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. So, Mark, the governor's presenting his plan like it's a big tax cut, but there's more to the equation. Paul, there certainly is. Good evening. We often focus on income taxes, how much you pay on how much you make, but that really only accounts for about a quarter of the taxes, the total taxes that the state collects. So we decided to take a closer look at that and found that when you stack the tax relief or the tax cut Governor Pritzker is offering next to the total tax burden and all the other different taxes and fee increases that are on the line, well, there's more to that equation. Governor Pritzker ran on a campaign promise to raise taxes on himself. Raises taxes on just 3% of people in Illinois, those making $250,000 or more. A progressive income tax plan could kick in as early as 2021 if voters approve it at the ballot. If the governor makes how much he reported on his last tax return, that could wind up costing him up to $1.6 million more in income tax. He says it's worth it long term to finally restore stability in our state budget. Illinoisans will have a vote on improving the arc of our state's finances forever. Pritzker says that extra money from him and the top 3% could help Illinois finally start to catch up on its growing pension debt. But in order to win public support, he's also pitching his plan as a tax cut for the middle class. Hundreds of dollars for many families across the state of Illinois is real relief. But according to a tax calculator his own office designed, that tax break isn't very big. For example, a recent college graduate who lives alone and earns $62,000 a year would pay $45 less. But with an extra $124 in higher gas taxes, that tax cut quickly becomes a net increase of 79 bucks. Or take a family of five living on a farm, bringing home 75000 a year. They could see their tax cut shrink to just $2 a year if one person in the home smokes cigarettes. After taxes on cigarettes more than doubled this year. Or take a nurse making the average of $78,000 to care for two kids. She could pocket an extra $34 a year under the governor's plan when you factor in extra gas taxes. And don't forget about the politicians, too. A state lawmaker who doubles as an attorney with a spouse who makes decent money, living in a home worth four hundred fifty dollars they could see their total tax bill jump at least $865 a year. There are a lot more possible scenarios out there, so you can go to our website, WCIA.com, to enter your income, your property taxes, how many kids you've got, and see what that spits out at you in that calculator. However, that's temporary. Remember, if the state does away with the flat tax, lawmakers would get a lot more levers to tweak and tinker with your tax rates down the road. Paul. All right, Mark, thanks for that update tonight.